Hello Olympia Tech. So you're trying to rotate in Blender. I'm going to select the default cube and hit R for rotate. Okay? And that is how you rotate in Blender. You hit the R key. The R key. R key for rotate. Okay, so that's how you rotate in Blender. And Blender's awesome. You can uh, you know you can rotate around stuff. So this is your pivot point up here. And if you transform the pivot point, right now it's a median, so it'll rotate. I'm going to hit uh, front view. It's going to rotate from the center of the object inside view. See how it's both center? So when you hit R, it's going to rotate around that. I'm going to go into edit mode and select this edge right here. Okay, so I have this edge selected. Now I want my cursor to be exactly on this edge. So I click cursor and I can click the edge, but it's not precise. Uh, it, it's pretty close, but you can see it's a little bit under and we want, you know, we want to be precise. So let's be precise. So I'm going to hit shift S and go cursor to selected. Okay. And that snaps it to be perfectly center on the edge, the line, the edge that I selected. Now I'm going to come up here to pivot point and pivot around the 3d cursor. Okay, whereas before we were on the median, this is this is the, you know, the median average point of your object. Now, our pivot point is the 3D cursor. This is pretty cool. So we tap back into object mode, hit the R key, and now we rotate around the pivot point. Right? Okay. So Blender is pretty awesome like that. So watch. I'll go into front view, R key, and we're rotating around the pivot point escape out of that side view rotate with the r key r r r r r r key and that is how we rotate in blender okay and then if you want to uh, switch out of this ever you go right back in your transform pivot points median point select your cursor and then shift s brings up this menu you can go cursor to select it and now we're back in the center Okay, so I uh, hope that helped and uh, get back out there. Keep making what you're making.